today we will take it very calm and easy and patiently. We will look into the mystery of deciduous trees and how to develop them over time. It is a little bit related to a question, or actually uh, a few questions from Lars in uh, Germany, who asked about developing some deciduous uh, bonsai, especially uh, he was inspired from the small forest trees I have been doing, the small deciduous trees here. And when to prune these trees to get the best action, how to develop a fine structure of ramification over time. And time is what it is all about. It takes a lot of time to de develop a deciduous tree. It's much easier with a coniferous tree like the Shimpaku juniper over here in the Tokonoma compared with the binary tree at the Tokonoma at the display that is a Chinese cork bark. And there are two very different ways of developing these. The juniper you can wire, put the foliage in position and in a relatively, depending on everything of course, a relatively short time you can begin to form a tree that looks decent and you begin to imagine how it will look in future even at a younger stage. With the city trees it's a different case. It is developed over a very long time and it is like a play of chess. You have every time you do something you have to have in mind what are the next steps, what are the next draws on the chessboard you will take. When you do one action, when you prune them, what will be the next thing to do in a few months, next year and the years to come. You have to think of that already at an earlier stage and try to imagine what way the tree will develop in. And that is something that will change over time. You will see new possibilities. The tree will react differently than you thought. And therefore you have to make new decisions and change your ideas on the travel with the tree. But let's start with a tree that I pruned earlier. If you go back to the episode number 22, you will be able to watch how this was the start of a deciduous tree, start from scratch, removing every leaf to build up a new structure. It is five years, <laughs> five years, if it was so, I could uh, jump in time. It was five weeks ago, approximately, that I did this first early work. The tree is wired and I am beginning to watch very closely when to begin to remove the wire. It is removed in the more than one step. The strongest growing branches I will have to remove the wire first. Then I will look at the next branches that are a little bit slower growing, a little bit weaker in the growth, and then I will begin to remove the wire there and hope the branches stay in position. There's no reason not to let the wire bite a little bit into the bark, a little bit into the branch, let the branch swell a little bit so it just make a slight mark because then it will hold better. It will form callus underneath the bark and uh, it will be no harm that, it, that you can use that uh, for a little time at uh, this stage of the development of a tree like this. It will be covered up when the branches develop over the years and swell up. We have to think about when we are dealing with the city trees, uh, putting a long-term strategy into what we are doing. Nothing is done at once. It is carefully one step at a time and each year you will see improvements. And an important point also based on the, the question of last came into my mind that you have to think of the development of your bonsai in different stages. You have a very young and unmature state where you're doing a lot of drastic pruning and building up a new branch structure. At the other end you have a refined stage of a tree where you are just uh, adjusting uh, aesthetically, of aesthetically reasons, a few branches, uh, removing a few tweaks, maybe removing a branch that is being in the way for an open space, things like that. And then you have this big space in between these two periods, between the very early stage like this and the very mature stage. And that is a, a big room to be in where you may be confused about what to do because you are not doing the very basic structure uh, where you're doing a lot of work and you are not doing the very refined work. So it is something like uh, in a no man's land where you are not sure what to do. And we will deal with that in this episode. Mm -hmm.